Mr. Donegan, name two things that you would like to see happen in our cooperative. I would like to, and this may sound strange, I would like to see the employees happy. These are the people that service us. This is part of our, our family, and I think you still have a lot of grumbling that's going on. I know that. I've been told by more than one family member of, well, he was there or she was there for 30 years or 27 years. It's an absolute disgrace, and, and now their name's been buddy too, and they're being forced out. And, and there's a lot of things that are going on that there is so much dissension internally in the PEC that most people don't hear about that they're thinking of unionizing. Imagine that. There's our little co-op out here that, that, that's to serve us. They're talking about unionizing it. You've got to be kidding me. Um, so they need to be happy. Um, uh, the employees need to be happy out there and to continue to give us the great service that we all would expect from, from serving one another. And um, I would like to see the rates come down. I, I would run a, a fiscally conservative you know, program to lower the debt. So if we can borrow money to, at a lower rate, we can, um, we can pass that savings on. And that's certainly attainable. Thank you. Mr. Pat Whittle, name two things you would like to see happen in our cooperative. Oh, that's a hard one. Breaking down four things to two, but not be able to try. Um, we don't have a small co-op. The area covered by DEC is the size of Massachusetts. There's 800 employees involved. It has $5 billion in assets. It is a, the biggest co-op in the country. Things that I would like to see, and I, I'm going to have a very, a very hard time saying I'm not only in two, so I'm going to kind of sort of say it real quickly and hope I can get by with four. Like I mentioned, keeping electrical costs down, expanding plans to use alternative energy sources, promoting expanded partnership with our members, and teaching them, providing them information for them as to how to save money and how to save energy. And having competitive benefits and salary schedules that will continue to attract and retain quality employees as they are the backbone of our program. Thank you. Ms. Rogers. Name two things you would like to see happen in our cooperative. Undoubtedly, it would be the restoration of trust of the employees. Uh, there have been actions that occurred in the past few months that have uh, broken the trust of the employees with the board, and that must be reestablished. Our employees are our greatest asset. They're not listed in the recent audit that was done, that we got a clean bill on, but they are our greatest asset. They're the ones that keep our lights on. You know, the thick, thin, rain, snow, whatever. They must be taken care of. Second is, I would like to see more adherence to the cooperative principles, because those serve each of us as members. It's the foundation and basis of our cooperative. It's what led the reform movement. And I believe if we return to that, we will get to do that budget that would allow us to reduce rates, which is always a goal. And I've been ensured by management that there are ways that we can reduce weight, uh, rates with some very careful planning. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a while, but it can be done. I would like to work toward that. Thank you. Mr. Ryan Baker, name two things you would like to see happen in our co-op. First of all, it is essential that PEC maintain the highest level of customer care reliability and service and safety that's number one and must remain there we rank among the top of all co-ops in the country secondly if we are serious about energy efficiency and reducing demand and by reducing demand we reduce the amount of energy we have to purchase and we need to look at rates that are what i would call time and use rates that rewards people for changing their habits in a way that conserves energy. If it means that you get a better rate by doing your laundry at eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night, people will respond to that and they will do their laundry then. We have a model now that encourages consumption and that's what has to change. Thank you. It is now time for the closing statements